So I've been flying the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom now for the past two weeks. And while the Pro is definitely my favorite with its one inch sensor and its upgraded image quality, I found myself using the Zoom a lot in particular situations because of its ability to zoom optically between 24 millimeters and 48 millimeters. In this video, I'm gonna be going over some of the things that I've learned over the past few weeks shooting with this drone and give you some tips for shooting cinematic footage. My first tip would be to fill the full frame. It's usually hard to get up close to objects with your drone, but now with optical zoom, it is so easy to do. For example, this shot here flying straight down the Ben Franklin Bridge in Philadelphia looks so impressive because of how much is going on. And if I were using any other drone, it would be so nerve wracking. You can also use it to track down subjects moving away from you at a faster rate for a really cool looking shot. A drone like the DJI Phantom 4 Pro has a field of view of 84 degrees on its camera, meaning it can fit a lot more into the frame. It's a much wider field of view. So in order to achieve that same shot, tracking the Ben Franklin Bridge, I'd have to be so close to it, which again, would really stress me out. My next tip has to do with dolly zooms. And I know there's a quick shot to easily do a dolly zoom, basically just with the tap of a button, but I would really encourage you to learn how to do dolly zooms manually. In my experience, when using the dolly zoom quick shot, it sometimes zooms in way too fast and doesn't give me the results that I was looking for. By flying backwards on my own, I'm able to control the speed of the zoom, thus giving me the shot that I want. I'm also able to achieve this dolly effect in certain scenarios where I'm flying at faster speeds and begin to zoom out ever so slightly for that perfect looking shot. My next tip would be to use the zoom feature to make it look like you're somewhere where you're not. Let me explain. In this example, it might look like I'm inside of the building, but my drone was able to stay safely outside of the building while just zooming in. I do a lot of flying around smokestacks, and some of my favorite shots include the drone coming straight up out of the stack. Being able to zoom in in this case would make for an epic shot as it looks like the drone is coming up out of the stack. The final tip that I have for you, and this actually might be the most important, is learn how to precisely control the wheel that controls the zoom. A few of my shots have been ruined because I've either zoomed in too fast or zoomed in too slow, and also sometimes I come to an abrupt stop at the end and it just makes it look uncinematic. Just like with the gimbal movements of your drone, it's going to take a little bit to master. I know that myself, I haven't mastered optically zooming and getting the best looking footage ever, but I'm still practicing, I'm still trying, um, and I'd love to know what you guys have to think about the zoom down in the comments. I also hope that you guys learned a few things about the zoom in this video. It's a great new drone. I think that this might be the one that everyone is buying, and then kind of like the professional version is saved for people who really, really care about their image quality. Uh, but guys, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you learned something, and make sure you stay tuned here on Drone DJ for some more more Mavic 2 videos.